So our first lightning talk is Kids Invoke Inv- uh, can't say that. Kids Invoke Innovation by Rohan Schwartz. Uh, it might be easier for the lightning talks rather than swapping back to the headsets if we just use these. Just use this mic. Let's just swap back to this mic, because um, it's not like we're taking questions. So, yeah, yeah, good, good. All right, thanks very much. Uh, my name is Rowan Schwartz, and I work for the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory. Um, but this is just a, a bit about some home projects that I, uh, I've been in doing. So I'm a mechatronic engineer, changed over to software, and I enjoy building stuff. Um, and public speaking is my nemesis. <laughs> my people know. Um, so innovation usually starts, generally starts with a problem. In my case, I've got four little problems. No, it's not the mega shark teeth. And uh, somehow toddlers have the uncanny, uncanny ability to find the gate remote and push buttons, no matter where you put it. Um, so, and, and, and now that my kids are a bit older, they tend to leave the garage doors open after they're riding their bicycles. Um, because my house is built on top of my garage, uh, I can't really see or know that it's been left open, and sometimes it has been left open overnight. Um, yeah. So, I had a problem, a few Raspberry Pis, I know a bit of Python, and so the home Pi was born. And this was just to basically monitor uh, my garage doors and my gate motor, I had some control for my driveway floodlight, and it reported the states of these to a little LCD which I put in the house, and there was a beeper. Um, and then this, this beeper would sound an alert when the garage doors or gates was open, um, and every 10 minutes or so just to remind me that it's still open. Sometimes the gate would not close properly um, after leaving the, the house, and so I needed some remote monitoring or um, indication. Uh, so I incorporated Telegram, bot to message me if the, the gate was left open when I left. And then I added some command messaging to the bot as well so that I could do some control and get some status. Um, and I could remotely open the gate in garages if necessary. And then like some of you, I got frustrated with ESCOM. Uh, unfortunately, that picture didn't come out nice. The resolution is terrible. But uh, I got I got frustrated by some power utility in this country and installed solar. Um, but I wasn't happy with the refresh rate that my inverter gave, which was like five um, every five minutes. And so I added an RS-485 adapter to my Pi and connected to, that, to my inverter. And I get per second data, and I can see exactly what's going on. And then I pushed that to um, the Blink IoT service and I can display my graphs, um, which has finer, much finer resolution. Some of the, the libraries that I used was PyGPIO to control the, the Raspberry Pi IO pins. Then I just used the plain request library for Telegram, but there is others, common ones like Telethon or Python Telegram uh, bot. Uh, the inverter uses a Modbus protocol, and I found that the minimal Modbus library was very good, a nice lightweight library. And finally, the Blink Lib library for uh, pushing the data to Blink. So still to be added, um, I want to be able to control my geyser element and my pool pump um, when it's cloudy so that I don't consume so much of my battery power. So I still need to add that, get some weather data off the internet and predict um, what the day is going to be like so I can switch those things off. And it, it's been going over a few years. Uh, I've added the last bits this year. But um, this innovation has been useful to me, and that's the purpose of innovation. Thank you.